Although the English army had still not been joined by many of its warriors, and with the core of the army dead from the previous battle, in the end, the only element of, the element of chance could finally resolve it, when Harold was struck by an arrow and fatally wounded. respectful and grateful memory of our King Harold, last to English King, and all those brave men who died that day defending our island from foreign invasion. September 1066, and the English army is camped on the south coast, awaiting the coming Norman invasion across the Channel. While King Harold prepares his army to face the Normans coming from the south, an invasion comes unexpectedly from the north. Harold Hadrada of Norway, who at the time was the most feared and experienced warrior in the Western world, had invaded with a huge force of Vikings. King Harold immediately gathered his forces and marched north to meet the Viking threat, to complete the 190 miles in under four days. The English army caught up with the Vikings at Stamford Bridge near York and in a savage pitch battle utterly destroyed it. Harold had won a stunning victory against a foe that up until now had been considered unbeatable. When asked before the battle what part of his kingdom Harold would give to the Norwegian king, he replied that he would get no more than seven feet of English ground, or as much as he is taller than other men. Harold made good his promise, and the feared Norwegian king was left on the battlefield where he fell. After a final surrender, Harold showed mercy to the survivors and allowed the remnants of the army to leave in peace. The Viking fleet had come to England and had been 300 ships strong. It took only 20 ships to carry them home. Crucially, to the events that were now to unfold, the English had suffered had also suffered casualties, and many of Harold's Huskarls, the core of his army, lay dead on the battlefield. Almost immediately after the battle, news came to the English that the Normans had landed on the south coast, and the English army was once again forced to a long march south. 
Once in London, Harold tried to bolster his, Ill, his exhausted army with local levies raised right from the surrounding areas before once again setting forth to confront the invaders. On the 14th of October 1066, it was a very different English army that faced the Normans from the one that had waited for them just 20 days earlier. In a hard-fought battle on Senlac Hill, after two force marches of 190 miles each and two major battles in 20 days, the English and the Normans fought until early evening. The battle had raged all day, and although the English army had still not been joined by many of its warriors, and with the core of the army dead from the previous battle, in the end, only the element of chance could finally resolve it when Harold was struck by an arrow and fatally wounded. With no king, the English were gradually ground down by the Norman archers and repeated cavalry charges. Without Harold, the day was lost, but a group of English warriors, the King's feared Huskars, refused to yield and refused to leave the battlefield. They rallied at the place on the battlefield that we now stand and fought a desperate last stand against the Norman invaders. At the very end, they were overcome and they died to a man around the King's personal banner of the fighting man. Shoulder to shoulder, never to yield, as a blood soaked soil of a Senlac field. King Harold was crowned king in 1066 during his short reign for two huge battles within 20 days of each other against possibly the two most powerful armies in Europe. Against seemingly insurmountable odds, he came within an ace of defeating both of them, assuring his place in history as one of the greatest medieval generals. A true patriot who put his people and his country before everything else and displayed many of the qualities and attributes that we hold dear in our great nation. He took everything that they could throw at him and responded with determination and iron will and true English courage. But in the end, not even this was enough. Our King Harold, warrior king, man above all others, did his duty before his brothers in arms, his people and his country, thousand years on. Courage remembered, sacrifice never forgotten. We will now lay our wreaths in memory of Harold and all the brave Englishmen who died on the 14th of October 1066. You go and see everything now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 